Another tough day for people who need gasoline with no relief in sight. The Coast Guard is reopening the uh, New York area port to ease the gas shortage caused by Hurricane Sandy. And we have a CBS News' Vanessa Murdoch. She's live in the Ridgefield, New Jersey area where drivers are lined up to fill up their tanks. It looked like we saw power crews. There they are behind you. They're even waiting to fill up, Vanessa. And right now, this line is filled with utility crews. I'm telling you, from one end to the other, all we see is flashing lights. And yes, they are not getting preferential treatment. Just like everybody else, they're having to wait in line for about an hour to get their gas here at Vince Lombardi. But I'll tell you, this is nothing in comparison to what we witnessed in the city this morning. We have some video for you. This was shot at the Hess station at 44th and 10th. The wait there, three and a half hours. So you can imagine the frustration levels there. But the people we've spoken to right here in New Jersey and Ridgefield have had very good spirits this morning. Only one person witnessed or, excuse me, expressed frustration with the fact that he says, hey, we're in the United States. We should not have to deal with this. Um, and then a utility worker also expressed frustration that they had to wait in line like everybody else. So the scene here, one of calm, one of order. And that is some very good news. That was not the case yesterday morning in Queens. A man actually had the audacity to try and cut line. And then when somebody complained, the man who cut the line drew a pistol. He was arrested, thank goodness, to send a very strong message that that kind of activity would not be tolerated. We're going to try and grab somebody here and see if we can't get you a live interview, see how things are going for somebody. Sir? Oh, I don't know, guys, if he's going to, let's see. I'll give a quick knock here. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Good. How are you today? All right. What is your name? Peter Didensport. And where are you from, Peter? Uh, Mountain Lakes, New Jersey. And how are things going this morning? How long have you been waiting? I've been here since 4.30 this morning. Since 4.30? And since what we're... 6.30 now. 6.40. Wow. You've yeah. been waiting in line for two hours. That's correct. Really? People have been telling us it's been short, about an hour. Not in this particular place. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're definitely... You've been waiting a long time. Yep. How are you feeling? It's what it is. Get the distribution system going, we got fuel again. Right. And what about your tank? Are you riding low or are you doing okay? I've got 48 miles to Brooklyn. I have to stop. Right, so right now, I see you're just about a quarter of a tank here. That's correct. That's so, correct. in the storm itself, how did you fare your family, your home? Just down trees, you know, some uh, power lines down and just kind of dealing with no power until uh, JCP now comes around and takes care of the wires. Right. So, it'll be good. So, you're hanging in there, it sounds Absolutely. like. Absolutely. Absolutely. Slow and easy. Right. Yeah. Do you have running water? Uh, yeah. Fortunately, we're not septic or well, so that's good. Well, that yeah. is some good news, but I'm sorry you had to wait for two hours, but... Uh -huh. Wait to the game. Could be worse. Right. And you right. have a smile. Exactly. Well, thank, thank you so much for your time this morning. Good luck to you. So, guys, yes, most people have been telling us an hour, but just there are two hours. So, mixed reports. Nonetheless, pack your patience today. No matter where you go, there will be a line for gasoline. We are live from the Vince Lombardi rest stop in Richfield, New Jersey, with the Mobile Weather Lab. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Pack your patience. Don't pack a pistol.